What's up guys, it's Rota here and welcome to yet another amazing video on the channel. So for today, I got you a Rescue Ace test hand video. I know someone in the comments requested it, so this video is for you, my good sir. And I also just wanted to show you how you can play Rescue Ace and why this deck is going to be a serious meta contender after the June main set release. If you do enjoy this type of content, make sure you do leave a like and subscribe down below. Also comment what deck are you going to be playing post-June. I'll most likely be on Rescue Ace. And let's just get straight into it. I've just finished the power shuffle. I've just shuffled normally now. We're gonna say we're gonna go first. Let's see what we can do with test hand number one. We've got a one for one. Rescues Turbulence. Pot of Prosperity. Reinforcement of the army. And another pot of prosperity. So this hand is actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie to you. So first things first, I think there's no real way of playing around drone and lockbird here, which is kind of sad. We're gonna have to rotor to grab the airlifter here. That sort of thins the deck before we do, of course, Prosperity. So you have the airlifter. Now what I think we're going to have to do is we're going to one for one. And we're going to pitch our Turbulence here to the graveyard. And we are going to summon from the deck. By the way, I should explain, I do have proxies in the deck. Emergency is going to be a Gravekeeper's Inscription, and our Rescue Ace Preventer is going to be this Master Spirit guy. Should have probably mentioned that in the beginning, just realized now. But we are going to summon directly from the deck our Rescue Ace Hydrant, which is cool because we haven't committed our normal summon. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use Rescue Ace Hydrant Effect. We're just going to straight add the Rescue Ace Preventer, which is this Spirit Monster, because it hasn't come out yet. Now what we're going to do is we're going to normal summon Airlifter, Airlifter effect. I don't even think we actually need to grab the emergency in this case. So what we can do is we can just straight up grab the alert. Now what we're going to do is we're going to activate alert, and this is going to let us grab our hand trap. Or we could grab the other bodies. We could grab the fire engine or stuff like that. But I think the impulse is the best shout here. Helps play around Nibiru. We, we, we are susceptible to Nibiru here, so having the impulse at least is one interruption. It sends the alert to Graveyard. We're going to summon our Preventer by banishing the Turbulence from Graveyard, which is good because it gets into a rotation when we link off with our Preventer. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to simply link two. We are going to make Proxy F Magician. Preventer effect. We can summon back Turbulence. Maybe we don't want to summon Proxy F Magician, because I just realized that when we summon back, they can just hit us with the Impulse Veil straight away. So potentially not Proxy F Magician. So this is going to be susceptible. Probably there's a different way of doing that. Maybe the way would have to be keeping Preventer on the field, maybe. Yeah. So if we were going to go with the Proxy F Magician, this is banished. What we're going to have to do is instead of linking off with the Preventer, we're going to link off with the Hydrant. Now we're going to make Proxy F Magician. Proxy F Magician effect, we're going to fusion. We're going to make Mud Dragon. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do Preventer effect and we're going to chain Mud Dragon. We're going to call Fire, make it a Fire, and we're going to resolve our Preventer summoning our Rescue Ace Turbulence. Now our Turbulence cannot be targeted. We're going to go Turbulence effect. It's going to set for. We are going to set our Contain our extinguish we're going to set a copy of emergency which is our gravekeeper's inscription and we're going to set a copy of rescue so these four get set one two three four we also have the impulse for interruption now we get to prosperity with banish six i'm just going to shuffle the deck quickly i'm not going to banish six just for the sake of time what would we reveal Another Turbulence, Airlifter, Impulse, Callby, Airlifter, and Hydrant. So probably in this situation, grab the Callby. Just because further interruption, could potentially grab an Airlifter maybe, follow up for next turn, just really depends. But that's turn number one. I think that was very good. During our opponent's turn, we have a Imperm, a Pop. We also have... 
a monster. We also have an emergency, which lets us summon another monster out the deck. We have a rescue, which can bring back our Preventer into a Book of Moon. And we can also summon another one out of the deck when they activate a monster effect on the field via our impulse. So hopefully that shows you more or less why I think rescue are going to be so good. Let's go to another test stand. But you can really see how the advantage sort of does sort of steamroll very, very quickly. And why the proxy F magician is so important with our mud dragon, making us immune to impermanence or effect failure. Let's go to test hand number two. I generally show about three test hands. So let's do another going first hand and then a going second hand. I have dropped some cards. Excuse me for that. So do let me know if you enjoy Rescue Ace and if you'd make any changes. There should be a de This isn't the deck profile I showed off two weeks ago. This is an updated version which should be dropping out on Monday. So once you do see that, do leave in the comments what you would change, what you're playing in your build. I am very interested to hear. So test hand number two, start off with Ash Blossom, Reinforce, Rescue Ace Hydrant. This is our Preventer, and this is a Emergency. So, this hand is pretty decent. I guess what we're going to do is we're going to start off with our Rescue Ace Hydrant on Normal Summon. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use its effect. Again, there's, we can sort of play around Droll in this scenario. So I guess in this scenario, what we're going to grab, we already have the Preventer. We have the Emergency as well. What I think we're going to have to do, I'm not entirely sure what the best line here we could grab Impulse because we have access to Turbulence anyway. So I guess we grab Impulse from deck to hand. As extension, we could also grab a Fire Engine. It doesn't really matter. Now what we're going to do is we're going to link off our Hydrant. We are going to make a Salmon Great Al Mirage. We're going to Use Preventer, which is of course this proxy. It's going to summon itself by banishing Rescue Ace Hydrant. We can now go into a Link 2. Which can be a Proxy F Magician. We're going to use Preventer Effect. It's going to summon back Hydrant. We're going to use Proxy F Magician Effect. Fusion Summon. We're going to make Mud Dragon. We're going to Mud Dragon Effect called Fire. And we basically have the same line as before. Maybe it would have been wise instead of grabbing Impulse to grab a Turbulence in this situation and keep the Emergency. So probably that's what I'll do. I'm going to switch out Impulse for Turbulence. And now we can summon our Turbulence. Worry free because it's Mud Dragon is a Fire and it's going to give us targeting protection. We're going to banish our Hydrant and our Preventer to rescue these cards. And now we can do Turbulence Effect. What we're going to do is we're going to set four from the deck. So it's going to be a... Not really sure what to do here. We're always just going to do the traps and contain and extinguish. We already have the emergency. We already have the reinforce. So I guess we're going to go rescue. And we might actually go field spell here. We can go field spell. Because we already have everything else that we need. So we set that, set these three, and this allows us to set two. We can activate our field spell, why not? This gives our Turbulence 500 extra attack when our opponent summons anything. And we have a Ash Blossom in hand. So for our opponent's turn, we have an Emergency, we have a Reinforce, we have a Rescue to summon something when something eventually goes there. We have a Extinguish, and we have a Contain. So, test hand number two, I think, is very good. Shows just the amount of advantage we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards in play. And we obviously started with five. We have two banished, so crazy. That plus four really doesn't come in very, very handy. Let's go for the final test hand, and let's pretend now that we are going to be going second. So let's put these cards back. Let's give this a shot. And let's see what we can do going second. So going second, I feel... Against massive combo decks that set up negates early, the deck can of course struggle as any deck really would unless you're playing pure traps with floodgates. But I feel the build I have right now is pretty consistent and Rescue Ace does have some great board breaking cards in terms of 
the link one the level one hydrant can go into an anima which pretty much always steals a monster because they never really respect it and the link climbing capacity of this deck is just really unmatched so we're going to be going second here what we're going to do we're going to draw a airlifter a rescue another airlifter a hydrant and a rotor so sadly no hand traps which is kind of annoying we're going to go the sixth card and we get a emergency so this is a bit of an awkward hand potentially potentially quite good as well I guess we're going to start off with the airlifter and airlifter effect. If it goes through, it doesn't really matter if it does because we have everything else in rotation. We are going to grab the field spell. Why? Because the field spell gives us that second normal summon. So we're going to add field spell, activate field spell. Now, field spell, using its second normal, we're going to normal summon our hydrant. It is no longer targetable because we have the airlifter on the field. And we're going to use its effect. This is going to give us our turbulence or preventer. I guess we go to this here. Now what we're gonna do is if our opponent wasn't using the zones correctly, what we can do is we can go into a relinquished anima. Anima is gonna take, so they're gonna be forced to neg if they have an omni negate there. It doesn't really matter what happens to this anima. What matters is that our hydrant is now being used as disruption. Now what we can do is we can link these two away and we have a choice. We can either go into our heater or dark. So there's two choices here. Just go for the one that your opponent has in the graveyard, most likely dark. We can do dark effect, take something. Now what we can do is, we should have probably rotated way before grabbing an impulse. So if our opponent does chain anything, we can chain the impulse to summon something from the deck. That would have probably been very wise. So we'd have extra bodies on the board. Now what we can do is what we you can summon our turbulence by banishing two rescue cards from the graveyard and we're going to summon is this the correct play or should we be summoning preventer first uh we'll stick to this i guess we're going to go turbulence effect we're going to set four if they interact with this we can always emergency and tribute it off the field if they target it with anything so that's kind of nice we have the alert here we also gonna set the contain. We're gonna set the extinguish. And we are going to set a reinforce. So it's a lot of cards we have access to now. Sadly, we can't use them yet because we have the hydrant in the banish pile. But what we can do now is simply go emergency gonna summon the preventer from the deck when I find him is this spirit guy we've got a sack one to the graveyard so we're going to send I guess we send impulse here yeah now we can do is go rescue summon back impulse preventer effects the book of moon something now with the extra monster from dark and the preventer what we can do is we can link them away into a link four so we can make a appalooza or an access code doesn't really matter then we can go preventer effect it's going to summon back hydrant hydrant is now going to let us do very cool plays well, basically what we can do now is we can pop a card for free. Let me explain how. Obviously, we have access code effect to gain attack. I'm going to put him here so you guys can see him. What we're going to do now is we're going to go extinguish, pop something, because we can activate a set card because of Hydrant. We're now going to banish our emergency to reset extinguish the field. So we also have it again for next turn. So we just got a free pop out of nowhere. And now we can do even further link plays if we so choose. We also have a pop off the access code. If you went for the heater line, you'd have two. So we just banish dark here for a pop. This is a lot. This is well over game, I believe. We still have an elif in hand as well. And if your opponent activates anything in the field, we're going to impulse them. And let's go battle phase. This is 5-3, three, 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 one, 5 if they have anything against 500. So, And if you don't kill them, we still have pop, reinforce, contain and a alert so 
Hope I showed you guys just what the deck can do. Probably a better way of playing that. I am still relatively new to the deck and I will be further testing and improving my deck profile on Monday. But I did. I do hope you guys do enjoy this test hand video. I know you guys were requesting it for a decent amount of time. I know someone in the comments was. So that's for you, my guy. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next